Good afternoon. This is your Daily Bread by Joel. I am Tanisha Murphy, and today is a great day to be a blessing to someone out there. Today's topic is Let It Go. We're going to talk about anger, forgiveness, and the past. Let's talk more about that. Tune in. Let it go. This today is mostly a inspirational type of message. Um, there's three topics that I wanted to hit, which is anger, forgiveness, and the past. I know sometimes letting it go is hard. Sometimes you forget the reason why you let it go or why you just thought it was a good reason to just end it um a lot of situations nowadays cause people to get upset or cause people to anger why do we allow anger to happen really it's a it's, it's the main topic for this for this anger issue um arguments is one big topic that cause a lot of anger nowadays um, when people get in arguments they don't let it go they tend to allow the things to keep going and lingering and on and bring up the same situation again and again and again and and just it makes your day go bad a lot of arguments is, is really not even necessary to even have. You know, some arguments is over a topic that don't even matter. You know, and fighting over food. Why? Why are we fighting over food? You know, or fighting over money. Why even fight over money? Things like that. Things that we can't even take with us when we leave this world. So it shouldn't even be arguments over things that ain't even worth arguing about you know another thing is disagreements a lot of people have different disagreements due to the same type of topics you know money is the main reason for disagreements you know money is a big thing for us while we're here on earth money pays bills money you know help family have fun money brings happiness you know so you can see why money will cause a lot of disagreements nowadays and then there's situations and when I mean situations anger comes from different situations you know for example you can be sitting in the car with your family and someone can say one bad thing and there goes the whole car getting angry, you know, the whole family being angry over a situation that I even, it's not even meant to even have anger over. You know, you have to allow, you have to allow yourself to have patience when it comes to anger. You can't, I know that this is a hard thing to do because myself tends to get anger a lot and I'm working on it so I don't expect people to just to just stop being angry tonight you know it's something that we should all should work on it's something that is it's, it's a moving progress I would say you know that's why I was in the Bible to be quick to uh, listen and slow to speak and slow to anger because God wants you to listen first. Listen to the situation. Listen to the 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 conversation before you get angry. Slowly to anger. Use your ears and, and let it process and give yourself time to 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 allow yourself not to get angry. You know that's something we should practice. But then there comes forgiveness. You know. Forgive it and let it go. 
when you get angry, forgive it, you know, forgive that person, forgive those people, forgive the situation, just let it go, you know, why let things linger on and keep having you upset, why let things keep going on and having your body and, and, you, and your feelings and things like that continue to make you feel bad and, you know, don't let your day stop like that. Don't let your day go by being angry. You know, we, we're not promised another day. You know, you have to have faith and, 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 and pray for each day. Live a amazing life. So don't forgive and let it go. You know, don't allow it to hunt you. That's one thing we shouldn't do is allow old things to hunt us. You know, you did it, and you, it happened. So, move forward. Don't don't sit there and let it linger. You you can have this little bubble of time and and go through your feelings, but then after that minute, let it go. You know, don't allow it to hunt you. Just let go and let God get you through any type of situation because that's why He's there. That's why we have God because we need his help any kind of way, every kind of way, every day. We need God's help. That's why we have the word of God. And that's why we should stay in it. You know, I live my life according to the word of God. You know, sometimes when things don't go the way the Lord wants it, you know, I have to remind myself and ask for forgiveness and and let go and let God you know don't allow it to hunt you don't allow it to hurt you don't let your day go by bad because you are messed up in some type of way and then you know we speak on the past which is past tense it's the past is the past for a reason you know once it happened it happened let it go you don't have to stay in the past, you know. You don't have to continue to worry about things that's uncontrollable, you know. If it already happened, leave it alone. That's one thing we gotta learn. If it already happened, pray about it, let it go, and leave it alone. Don't allow it to sit over you in this cloud of negativity and cause you to just feel bad every day you know you get up and still have this cloud of the past over you and you you, you walking with this cloud every day there's no improvements there's no positivity in that so let it go and move forward moving forward is is big you know that's why it's in the bible to not look back in the past because you keep looking back in the past then you're going to forget something. You're going to forget the present. You're going to forget why you're moving forward to the future. You know, it's something that we should all work on, even myself. And I'm, this is a big fact. And I'm being very honest because, you know, I know moving forward is, is hard sometimes, you know. But we just got to work forward and, and letting, letting God keep you on that path keep you on that, on that path of your, your your destination and not your destruction and your past can have you on the, on the path to destruction so just work just just let's just work on that you know moving forward and if we have to act like it never happened act like it never happened you know it, it might have happened but it doesn't have to control you you know once it happened let it go Move forward. If it's something that you didn't want it to happen and you, you, did, you still did it, all we can do is, you know, leave it alone and not go back to it. You know, you got to stay strong because sometimes we do fall in our weak moments and there's nothing we can do about that. But so let's, let's just move forward from that. Okay. Um. Again, this was mostly an inspirational type of message. I know a lot of people out there have trouble letting it go, but ain't nothing, ain't nothing more powerful than God. Nothing. 
And I, and I believe that God has his hands in everything. And he will bring you through anything that you are dealing with. Okay? That was your daily bread for today. I thank you all for tuning in. I can be found on social media, on, on Instagram and Facebook at The Daily Bread by Jewel. And you can find me on Twitter at JR Clothing. This podcast is also found on many platforms. I'm on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Spotify, and YouTube. Always, always remember to be a blessing on a blessed day. I say that because it's, it's, it's crucial. It's crucial to help people out. It's the holidays. So be grateful that the Lord has put, has put you in a, in a situation where you can help people. So I always remember to be a blessing on a blessed day. Have a wonderful holiday. Have a wonderful week. Be safe and I'll talk to you soon.